Hi everyone, it's Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. Today I will be doing the famous Molly Artistry swipes on an 18 by 24 inch level 3 gallery wrapped canvas. I have stretched it out in the back by spraying some water so that paint doesn't pull in the center and I also taped it off. I also painted my edges because in this technique, when you tilt, um, you may tend to like not get paint all over the edges. So here is my base paint. I am using Artist Loft Soft Body in Black. And I wanted to use the interference uh, uh, pigments and paints. So here is Amsterdam Pearl Violet mixed with this little piggy sequins and uh, golden interference um, violet followed by Amsterdam Pearl Green mixed with this little piggy Pinot Grige and uh, golden interference green. And I also mixed uh, Amsterdam Pearl Blue which is mixed with this little piggy velvet and golden interference blue and then the last color i'm using is amsterdam yellow mixed with some this little piggy brulee which is an awesome uh, copper yellowish color so here i am just layering my base paint down um the Artist Loft is actually a really good choice to use. It dries really fast, and once it's mixed with the pouring medium, it, it's pretty smooth. And here I am just popping some bubbles since I did mix the paint relatively fresh. And um, my pouring medium is 70% Floatrol to 30% uh, Golden Gloss Medium. You can also use Liquitex gloss medium. It doesn't have to be golden, um, but I happen to really like golden. I've been using it for a while. And you can also use GAC uh, 800 as well. It's, it's the same thing. So I'm just spreading my paint out before I start layering. And um, of course, Molly does these swipes. She is the creator of this technique, and it is her signature style. But another artist who does really amazing swipes is Mark Radcliffe. I will have both of their channels listed down below. So definitely go check them out. And here I am just layering my paints. I started off with the Pearl Violet, followed by the Pearl Blue. And this will be followed by the pearl green or interference green. And then my last layer is the interference or pearl yellow. And I have to say mixing uh, Amsterdam pearls along with the golden interference and the, this little piggy pigments really made the paint color really intense and highly pigmented, which I really liked. And... Um, the interference pigments and paints are white unless they hit a black or a dark base. So make sure you label them when you mix them up. Um, that is a good tip. So yeah, and just like Molly does, I will be using uh, three parts Australian Floatrol to one part paint to do my swipes. And here... Um, is my last puddle that I am layering right now and um, then I will swipe. I will have all of my colors along with the recipe listed down below and here is my cell activator which is Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with the Australian Floatrol and then here are my palette knives. You are going to just cover the back of your palette knife um, sparingly not too much and then you will go ahead and swipe well i will let y'all enjoy the rest of the process i will link mark and molly's channel down below definitely go check them out and do sign up for their um, acrylic pouring courses at smart art courses um, you can save 10 percent by using my coupon code amber10 
Here are the wet results. I ended up doing a diptych where I uh, had a second canvas and I just thought I had leftover paint, so why not? So here are the wet results and they turned out so pretty. The lacing and the cells um, in this swipe technique are different um, compared to if you're using house paint, which is thicker as the base. But overall, they turned out amazing. I am super, super pleased with them. They dried really nicely too. So next, I will show you um, the dried and varnished results. Here's another angle. I really like how you can see the different layers of the interference colors and piggies that I used. So the violet and the blue and the green and the yellow. Um, it, it just looks amazing. So yeah, overall, I'm super, super pleased with um, the result. And here are the dry results. Um, I'm sorry, the lighting is not so good. I um, took this video in my dining room uh, so excuse the glare but yeah here um, are the varnished results I used Windsor and Newton spray varnish uh, in high gloss um, so it turned out really really well and here is my second piece um, I didn't have a wall where I could put them side by side but yeah there you have it Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And guys, stay safe, stay classy, stay awfully awesome. And again, I appreciate y'all so much. Mm -hmm.